Welcome to DXB Today. Tonight, we're going to be talking all things festive and holiday season. Let's show you what's coming up. I went down to Habtor Palace to check out the Winter Garden. So much fun for a whole three months with great food and activities for the family. And we meet the co-founder of Wild Fabric, Gurgan Abdurrahman, helping communities promote sustainable fabrics through their brands. And of course, we're gonna have Ryan Gibb right here in the studio, tinkling on the old ivories with some festive holiday music. What an episode we have for you tonight. I cannot wait. We are entering that holiday mood. How are you feeling about it, Paris? I'm, feel I'm, fe I'm feeling great about it. Okay. You know, the festive period isn't like, really a thing we do in my house. Yeah. Well, I say a thing I don't do in my house. My brother has moved over recently okay. and he's decorated my entire living room with a tree and with tinsel and all oh, that stuff. Oh, wow. So I'm sure there'll be some stuff happening over the How's that gone down period. with the rabbits? Uh, they, they love it, okay. yeah. <laughs> Louis? Let's see if there's anything left by the end of the year. Oh, for me, I've got the whole family going uh, from one place to another. Lots of Christmas festivities for the Filipinos, you know how it is. Yeah, oh my goodness. And the sing songs, we cannot yes. wait. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. My family are here. This is going to be my 15th year in the UAE. And I've actually spent most of them here as well because people say you don't really get into the kind of festive uh, season here. I think you get into it really well. Oh, yes. Here because everyone is pretty much celebrating regardless of, of you know, those, those kind of celebrations. It's going to be good fun. And you can see how so many different cultures celebrate around the world. And you can do it on the beach, which is nice. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that is true. That is true. Well, we've got a jam-packed show. Oh, yes, we do. And we want to know more about our guest co-host joining us tonight. Hello everybody, my name is Oliveira, or better known as a food goddess. I'm a food critique and connoisseur and cannot wait to see you tonight in the studio. Yes, Oliveira will join us in just a little bit, but first I went down to Winter Garden at El Habtor City, running from now all until the 31st of January to check out the delightful array of food stalls and exciting live acts. Take a look at this. Well, the sun is shining. I'm sweating in 26 degrees, but I've got my festive jumper on because we're at the Habtor Winter Garden. And here I am with Mr. Ala Dean, Complex Director of Banquet Operations. Thank you so much for having us today at the Winter Garden. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure having you here. So tell us, what is the purpose behind the Winter Garden? The purpose behind the Winter Garden is to, to, uh, to get the young generation with their new new investors and uh, uh, it, it gets support by our chairman mr khalaf al habtour and vice chairman mr Mohammed al habtour and really they aim too much and they are focusing too much in winter garden when it comes to uh, support uh, those guys which they are uh, in the new uh, uh, starting the new business and they want to grow up and all that so that's why the reason of winter garden and thanks god winter garden become well known and it has now a trademark uh, within uh, UAE and we can see that more uh, more people coming. We have average uh, 1,000 people visiting the Winter Garden uh, uh, per day on average. Well, I can tell. I mean, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to eat, drink, yes. and there's lots of parking around Habtop House, yes, which I'm sure exactly. people love. Yes. So what are some of the things that people can experience here at the Winter Garden? We have a tattoo. Someone is doing tattoo. And we have another guy which is doing a croquetier. So you, he can draw you in 15 minutes. And of course, the kids' activity, which we have, you can see that's a huge playground area there. Yeah. And we noticed, of course, one of the first things I noticed, so many different food vendors as well. What are some of the good foods that people can enjoy? Yeah, exactly. So the, the, most of the vendors, they are repeated from last year and previous, previous years. And this year, actually, I have around two or three vendors are brand new for the first time, which one of them called Flat Burger. It's something unique, something first time to see, to be honest. The, the burger is very, very thin, which is really flat burger. And I believe he, he mends the meat with knife, not in the machines and all that. Even you see the bun is very thin uh, it's it's very unique he's the best seller even i can see now plus the hot chocks hot chocks it's something also different uh, not uh, it's a hot chocolate but not an ordinary hot chocolate like anyone can get the hot chocolate the the guys they are making in in in, in a different way which you feel like really a different when you test it yeah amazing well i can't wait to experience the gun for yeah. myself mr Aladdin, thank, thank you so much my pleasure thank you very much thank you 
And here we are with a couple of the young vendors right here at the Winter Garden. We're here with the founders of Hot Chocs, Mr. Khalaf Al Atiba and Mr. Saif Al Amiri. Guys, how did this whole journey start? This whole journey started out of nowhere. We were just sitting together. I was like, we have to do something big and something nice for everyone to enjoy around the world, especially in Dubai. So I was like to say, let's just do something. He came up with the idea of hot chocolate. He has the best recipe of hot chocolate I've ever tried in my life. We decided to open hot chocs in Winter Garden because we believe Winter Garden to be the best place for vendors and for food and beverage around Dubai. I have tried the hot chocs and it is incredible. Sif, what makes it so special? What makes it different from other hot chocolates? Uh, the best thing in our hot chocolate is our uh, special recipe that apparently now it's not one holder, it's two holders of that recipe. And uh, it's homemade. It's uh, apparently um, the original hot chocs with the special chocolate, special homemade recipe, and we share it with people. It's basically joy. Guys, thank you for your time and thank you so much for the hot chocolate and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. So come on down to the Winter Garden. You can get your vouchers by coming right here to the site or you can download the Loyal by AHG app and get the fast track coming in hassle-free. It looked like you had a wonderful time down there, I Paris. did. Be going down there right now. Our guest co-host today is a specialist curating food experiences and spearheading successful collaborations in the region. So happy to welcome to the show the food goddess Me herself, Oliveira. How are you? Thank you so much. It's uh, really a pleasure being with uh, with you guys, especially in this uh, festive episode. Exactly, <laughs> and we're so looking forward to hearing what it is you've got to tell us all about. But before we get into the festive side of things, how did you get into being the food goddess? Oh my God, food was always my passion since I was very young. And uh, being a professional sportist and loving food was never working together. So food won at the end, <laughs> yeah. right? So it's uh, some, most of my friends are always joking, oh my God, all you do is eat. But uh, in reality, I enjoy food. I enjoy spending time with, uh, with chefs, with uh, restaurateurs, talking with them, discovering all of the talent, all of the new ideas their stories, it's really an, um, really, I, I enjoy it. This is all I will, uh, I will say. It's the most important thing, isn't it? I'm going to ask a controversial question because there's so many different cultures that celebrate Christmas and so many different cultures here in the UAE. Who does the best festive food? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, so for me, I will not uh, put it in the way of who celebrates the best festive food, but I will say I'm obsessed with the turkey. Mm. And for me, when the month of the festive comes, I literally, the turkey is, is the one and only thing that I eat for probably next month, and I adore it. I'm so. glad you mentioned that, because I was just gonna ask, there are a lot of places that sell turkey nowadays, but I've had a few that are quite dry. Yeah. Where would you say would we find the best turkey here in Dubai? You know, I have for the past several years, I like to explore and I always give a, give a try to the new places. Uh, but the core two that I will say that are always and ultimately the best ones is the turkey from Atlantis. And the second one would be from John the Grocer. Oh, no way. Yes. And is that to eat in or is it takeaway? Because we know, I mean, thank goodness in the UAE you can get a delivery of Christmas food. I am not a chef, Oliveira. Um, so is that both in and out house, as it were? Uh, yes, the Atlantis one is always for the takeout. It's a, it's a turkey that you get for approximately between eight to 10 people. In my case, this is three to four because I don't share the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> and the mashed potatoes and the gravies and the, and the stuffing. So usually you host it at home. John the Grocer, they have it well as well in the, in the restaurant oh, nice. experience. But there is a lot of restaurants that I have seen this, uh, this season especially that have started serving the Christmas uh, menu and you can on most of them find it. One of the things that I'm definitely going to try is going to be the newly opened Signor Sassi. Mm. Their Christmas uh, menu looks stunning and this is going to be the turkey I'm gonna try for this year. I've actually been invited there and I haven't been. I really, I really should have eaten before we did this episode. <laughs> I'm getting very hungry. <laughs> but it's not just about the food when it comes to going out to eat. There's always stuff going on. What can we be excited about? Fireworks, events, where we can go enjoy some food and a show as it were. Yeah, so one of my favorites, honestly, during this season is usually the festive markets. And rightfully said, you went to the, to the Haptur Winter Garden, it's always amazing. Beside of having food, which is always uh, the part that unites all of, uh, all of us at the end of the day, uh, I love going to the Madinat uh, Jumeira one. It's stunning. For me, the Christmas tree and the whole element of meeting the sand tides, it brings you back to the, to the childhood. I come from Serbia, our Christmas is usually very, very cold. So having that uh, element and atmosphere is lovely. Again, Dubai is a stunning city for, for fireworks all around the world. And uh, there's so many people coming specifically just to experience uh, 
this element in, in, uh, in the New Year's. There is a very exciting new one that they have announced that is going to take place on Blue Waters. I believe it's going to be amazing. The views and, uh, and the stunning size of the wheel is just mm. going to be stunning for the fireworks this year. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be my, my pick to actually go and see it. That's awesome. Well, you mentioned something about the, the weather, right? So I was just going to ask, how do you feel about celebrating uh, the festivities on the beach? I actually love it. Really? You know, there is no thinking of, oh my God, is it going to rain? Is it going to snow? Which shoes do I have to take? Three times the coats and then the sweaters and you don't know what to do with it. <laughs> this is so lovely. It's so simple. It's, uh, I, I really love it. I don't miss the point of cold winter during the Christmas time since, uh, since I live uh, in Dubai and um, I adore it. I always stay every season in here. I don't travel, so for me, it's, uh, it's amazing. All right, so apart from all the different things happening, if someone does want to do a little something at home, uh, are you sticking with Jones the Grocer as the best provider for getting that festive meal at home with the family? John the Grocer and the Atlantis. And the Atlantis. Those will be the two of my picks. You will not regret it. They're absolutely delicious. Are you going to do something at home? Or is everything, are you going to see all the different festive events? You know, lately, uh, being at home for me is a bit uh, challenging because there is so many absolutely amazing restaurants out there that I really want to go in and take out the whole atmosphere. So I do believe I will be, um, I will be going out this, nice. uh, this Christmas. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I was going to say, because there's so, there is so much to do, but you do have to book it so early, don't you? True. Have you seen a big shift you know, this year because we've had so many people move to the country, which is amazing. How's that been? To be honest, for the, the rest of us that are living here for, for quite some time and uh, not really good in planning in advance, uh, it has been challenging, I have to say. Um, I wouldn't say that it's uh, impossible, right? But it's just uh, basically a week in advance will be uh, will be amazing time to, to book, uh, gather all the friends and, and select. But yeah, I'm, I'm extremely happy seeing restaurants always full and continuously having new people coming in, exploring. Uh, Dubai cuisine, as I would call it, because it's really unique in the in the world. Mm. I don't have a city on my mind to say where you can get over 30,000 restaurants and absolutely every possible cuisine of the world every in possible. any point of time. Yeah. So it's it's honestly stunning. Oh, it's, I love uh, that. That true. Well, we've got so much to talk about on the show today, Oliveira. I'm going to add more people to this festive party. But for right now, coming up on the show, we meet a co-founder of a company that's helping communities promote consumerism with a conscience and sustainability through their brands. Plus, we've got one of our favorite performers on the show. So stay with us.